another GTA 5 video for you guys today and in this episode we are going to be doing how to do the first person glitch online so you can get into first person so the first thing you want to do is instantly walk up to the ferris wheel you're going to click right and immediately walk away so you don't get close to it or get on you're going to hold down the menu you're going to wait at least 10 seconds then you're going to walk back up to the gate you're going to kill yourself and then immediately hold triangle or Y, or whatever you guys use to, uh, or whatever system you guys are playing on. So that will get the, uh, um, the you to technically be on the ride. And to make sure that this glitch is actually, or to see if this glitch is actually working, you can hold down trying, or hold down the select button, or the back button on Xbox, and the menu should not pop up. That is how you guys know if the glitch is working or not. So, I'm going to skip ahead and get on the ride. Alright, so the next step is to go on the roller coaster. And when you go up the stairs and onto the roller coaster, nothing special you have to do. You just got to get on and pick a seat. Now I'm going to go on to the next step because the roller coaster just left. So I'll be right back with you guys. It's when the... Um, when the roller coaster is back, you're just gonna all you're gonna want to do is just get on, pick a seat, any seat doesn't really matter. Just sit down, and as you guys can see, you're on the um, Ferris wheel. Then all you guys want to do is just click the select or back button, and you will switch into this view. And then now all you need to do is just wait until this ride is over. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's all you guys have to do, and you can raise your hands or whatever you guys want to do, but, uh, yeah, I'll skip to the end, so that way you guys can see what it looks like. You guys can see the beautiful Los Santos right here. Great view, I love this view, but, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for over, set, or over 650 views on my Liberator video. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot, um, and be sure to like it and leave a comment if you guys want me to make more Liberator races or stuff like that. I will be happy to make those videos as long as you guys watch them like you did with that one. It's a great one. It works good. So, alright, we are off the roller coaster, and these guys, as you guys can see, we are in first person mode. Um, we gotta go down the stairs and hop over this railing, though. But as you guys can see, we are in first person. As you guys can see, it's a little bit awkward walking because as soon as you turn your head, or turn like a way you run, you turn your head too. So that's how you're looking like that. Uh, my motorcycle's down there. Uh, I don't know what my guy's doing. Okay, let's get on this motorcycle real quick. Um, I think the first person's only temporary because as soon as I... Uh, What's it called? As soon as like the rate or the roller coaster technically ends, so does the first person. I think that's how it did. That's how it was last time for me. So let's steal one of these Aston Martins right here. The uh, rocket or not the rocket GT. The uh, something GT. I forget the name of it. But as you guys can see, look at how much detail they put into this interior. They don't have n any good textures whatsoever. But look at how good it looks on the inside it looks really nice like look at all the details they put in and think about what it's going to be like on PS4 and next gen systems it's going to be really good so hope you guys enjoyed this video please take three seconds to like the video make sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you guys like me and my videos so yeah hope you guys like this video and I'm Gaming Wizard and I'm out peace and